Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Afropolitan Magazine sets out to highlight the African diaspora. And here to tell us how, we've got Kezia Makundu. I hope I got that right yes, for you did. today. She's the founder and creative director of Afropolitan Magazine. We'd like to welcome you to the show. Kezia, how Thank are you? Thank you for having me. Great, great, great. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about um, your magazine. So basically, it's a platform that highlights African culture uh, in general. We now focus on in just one country, but the whole continent, plus the diaspora, whether it's you know, Francophone, Anglophone diaspora. So everything basically that's going on on the continent, Europe, America, and we're really trying to basically create a, a link between everybody and give them the best of uh, our culture. So tell me a little bit about this magazine. Now you said it's, um, it's, it's um, multilingual. So, so basically it's bilingual French English. So when you read the magazine, let's say if you read this, if you read this article, you have the English first and then when you depending on how long the article is, and then you have the, the French version. So every article basically have English and French side by side, and it's for men and women. So that was our European cover for Maxwell. That's the US one. Ooh. And when you flip it, basically, it's for the woman. So it's technically two magazines in one. Nice. So one side for the ladies and the other side for the gentlemen. So when you say one side for the ladies, one side for the gentlemen, what kind of information do you have in there separate for the two? Uh, so. The sections are the same, so we're going to talk about business, culture, we're going to talk about food, fashion, but we're going to, on the woman's side, basically we're going to highlight women's work, uh, give advice that basically targets a uh, black woman, uh, same thing for men, whether it, whether it comes for beauty, fashion, business, highlight profile. Uh, sometimes we have articles that are the same, but we have more of a like woman perspective versus a men perspective, so it's so a combo of like what's going on in uh, African culture in general. Nice. Why do you think this is important for the diaspora to have? Because I think Africa is changing a lot. A lot of things are said, a lot of things are shown, and I feel like it's on us, African, to tell our story. It's on us to really like highlight our culture, support it. Uh, and you know, I don't want to be the person who's going to complain because, oh, I don't see enough African here, or we don't do enough this, and uh, we have skills, uh, we educated. Uh, so I think it's just us, you know, putting ourselves in the front line and showing people, okay, this is what we are about, this is what we look like, this is what the type of work that we can do, and this is what we are great. It's just, you know, a matter of, like, us African, you know, doing the work and really pushing our continents in the front line. Oh, awesome. Um, tell me a little bit about when the magazine comes out and how people can find it. So basically, it comes out, like, every four, four months. Uh, in France, Belgium, uh, you can find the magazine in all the like kiosk, relais, wherever they have like magazines. You can grab an issue for the U.S. across the country. We are available at Barnes and Nobles, and then as we grow, we're probably going to have like more and more location. People can also go on our website and order the magazine, and we'll ship them a copy to their house. Um, so far, and we have basically all the platform, our social media, our website. Uh, and the an app also coming out, right? We're working on it, so hopefully we're going to be able to launch that very soon. And people who doesn't know us will be able to catch up on the previous issue because this is our fourth one, and we're working on the next uh, on the next two right now also. So, who's going to be on the cover of that? Do we know already? We're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on it. If you guys get Beyonce, can I like be in it too? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> awesome sauce. I got to say, this is my Congolese sister. Uh, we just met here today, and I was super excited. Uh, you know, she's from Congo Braza. I'm from Congo Kinshasa. But, you know, it was all one country once upon a time, so I was super excited about that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kezia, for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Good luck. We have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more Open. Stay tuned.